Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Plants vs Zombies. I'm your host, Video Games Rule 605. When we last left off, we just finished the first half of the roof section. So today we're going into level 5 6. <laughs> It's pretty. It's sun setting in here, so. Yeah. Yeah, focus. So, yeah. We got. We got a new zombie right here. The catapult zombies. What it does is actually. Throws basketballs instead of moving forward like the zombonies. And trust me, they are not as annoying as the zombonies. It might for a while, so. Let's see what we need. We still need Colonel and. Cabbage. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, what else do I need? Um, no, not blowers. Let's test out the garlic. This one's a pretty promising what item. Uh, what else? We need potato mines, right? Hmm, do I want to change anything? Let's see. Not necessarily, but we're good to go. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so... On to this one. Alright, planting sunflowers as usual. Alright, going to put on some garlic after this. Um, say, for example, if I want to put a potato mine here before the um, zombie gets here. Whoops, I didn't put it somewhere, so I'm just gonna put a garlic right here to divert it. But it has a probability of going up or down. Yeah, I went down, so... Next option would be putting a cabbage pole right here. Hoping the zombie dies in time. And here comes another one. Of course, you see the zombie right there on the top. Yeah, I, p I put, I put the um, potato mine down there, but in the wrong spot. So what I do? You put a flower pot there. The zombie goes down automatically. If it's on the far top or the far bottom zombie, and if you put a cock there, it will automatically go down or up, as you would put it. Um. Okay, so here comes another zombie, and I'll put a potato mine there. So that's basically how the garlic works. It actually moves zombies up or down. Told you they hate it. Alright, so... My least favorite is actually the, um... Catapult zombies, because they destroy sunflowers. There's an item for the... For the, um... For the, um... For the, um... Catapult zombies to not hit hit any of the sunflowers And pretty much in this level it's really dangerous to put Twin flowers at the very end because it'll get it'll get hit so watch out You want to put sunflowers right at the second one But I wouldn't guarantee anything All right, so we're almost done Oh, two waves, right. Uh, I gotta put another... Gotta put another, um... Dang it, what was it? Wow. Gotta put another potato mine, right. Oh boy. Come on. Two, three, four, shoot. Alright, turn a bolt. Save the day. Right on time as well. Let's see, um three, four. Oh, and the 
There's a really dangerous part about garlic as well. Once the garlic expires, as in the zombie eats all of them, well, one particular zombie that eats that eats it and then goes bye bye. That's a really dangerous one. So, oh no, 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 no. Good. I still have time. Three, four, five. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, die. Oh, good. It's diverted up. All right, so we're almost done with the first wave. Okay, so let's see what do we need. This. Oh, by the way, in the first two rows of it, it'll automatically be squashed. So you might want to put it somewhere where it doesn't squashes your garlic or your plants. That's what catapult zombies actually do. They're like zombonies, except they go into first two look in the first two front ends, and then hold on. And then what? Crud. What was I gonna say? The first two um. First two front spots, and then squishes them. That's better. All right. So here comes the first wave and the introduction of catapults. Oh, forgot one more thing. Plant a whole lot of catapults for the um, catapults because they will not stop firing. Period. Oh, here comes one of them. It's gonna target on my sunflowers, that's for sure. It only takes six of the th hits to destroy them. So you need to watch out. Four, five, and they're gone. There, they're dead. So, how much do um, Let's see... Why did I put- Oh yes, of course. For any zombies that- That came with the bungees, right? Bungee zombies, right? Um, oh yeah, and they change emotions once after a certain number of bites. That's another thing. I wanted to say. Mm. There you go. That's better. Alright, so we're almost done with this section. Alright, better move the, um, better move the, um, garlic a little bit further so it doesn't get eaten all right so nothing much is happening around here so that means I could start putting kernel pulse hmm. grow a lot of corn I'm corny, am I? Anyways... It's almost done in 3, 2, 1, 0. A huge wave of zombies is approaching! Final wave! Oh great, catapults. Oh really? Here. Eat this. I need that thing to divert. Die. Okay, guys, and we are back. Sorry for the interruption. 
but we're almost done nevertheless, so... One more zombie to go. Die. Okay, so this one is pretty vital as well. This one's the Umbrella Leaf. What it does is actually... Protects any plants from bungees or catapult zombies. So they're pretty good... Pretty good items to use for now. Alright, so next area is... This... Oh, great. We got ladder zombies again. whoop de doo Right. So, I'm just going to plant some things. Uh, what do I need? This. The, these two. And that's it. No, I take that back. Place with potatoes. Right. Okay, so that's all. Three, two, one, go. So, not a bad start. As usual, sunflowers are the important things. And this time it has three waves. So there's gonna be more waves than usual. So, what do we do? Just endure it. That is all. Um, right, so this is the introduction of what I call the R formation. What it, what you want to do with the R formation is actually for um, for every sunflower you plant, you need to plant at least ten, but in some kind of some kind of a letter R. Allow me to explain it. Well, it's already I'm already forming it now. So there's no need for explanation. So two umbrella leaf, two um, so this umbrella leaf can can cover a three by three, which is correct. Goodbye. So what you do is actually form the letter P. Hold on. And then put another potato mine here, and then. You're just basically putting some flowers in the shape of a letter R. That's all you're doing. And you're done. There. Uh oh. Looks like we got cone heads. Oh, these fast! So I'm just gonna wait it out. All right, so we're done. Come on, pop up, please. Thank you. For a minute there, I thought I'd be screwed. There we go. So, next upgrade: twin flowers. Here we go. It actually protects a 3x3 square, I'll tell you this is story. It's very unnecessary if you put, um, three umbrella leaves because... Because it's actually pretty unnecessary, I'll tell you that side of the story. I tried it, wasted a hundred sun, when I could put two, um, sunflowers. Alright, so... Now, there's a, there's a reason I shaped the letter R. Alright. You want to get the uh, the cabbages. Uh oh, this is not good. I need to protect some more plants. There's a reason I shaped the letter R. All right, so you can put the umbrella leaves to uh, to the top section and the center of the bottom section of a three by three grid. So it actually um. So, so you can actually not worry about it. So in total, you might spend a, a good amount of sun, about 400. It's a good, it's a really good strategy if if you want to protect plants from all the areas. And I need to protect this one because coneheads will devastate my strategy. And of course, bungees, of course. And of course, bungee zombies will devastate it as well, so I'm just gonna put that. There. 
and you're basically done. Now what you want, now what you want to do next is actually protect them from order devastation. Alright, so I need more cabbages and kernels. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Okay, so here comes the first wave. So we're basically done. Or are we? It's the zombies! Die zombies! So we got like about 650 suns, so I'm not very worried about it. Uh huh. So Alright, so that means we're almost done with the first wave. This is longer, and here comes another bungee zombie. Bye! Once the bungee zombies come down, there's no way they can they can reverse that. The umbrella these will bounce the zombies bounce the bungee zombies back up. As if nothing happened. Alright, so 1000 sun and we're almost done with our setup. Just need two pumpkins and that's about it. It's a really good setup. I'm not gonna lie. I think somebody else used this setup as well, but but I don't know. It's a pretty long time. I'm not sure. I bet somebody else did this as well. Uh, right. And it also protects protects plants from being hit by basketballs, so that's a good thing. Say goodbye. So we're almost done. Uh oh, they're taking my twin flowers. Ah, psych. All right, so we're almost done. All right, so our setup is basically done. So I'm just gonna sit back and relax and collect sun. That's gonna take a while. Uh-oh, two cone hints, that's not good. Eh, I'm not gonna be done until I say I'm done. Alright, so, potato mines. Away. Alright. I might as well put more um, kernel pulps. I have more than enough. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Second wave. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna sacrifice Sun for- Uh-oh! These guys are back! I forgot about those guys! Should've bought some magnet shrooms. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, bad idea. Uh-huh. Oh wow, did it really take off the ladder once the potato mines detonate? Huh, I didn't know that. Alright, sacrificing sunflower for... Yeah, you're done. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Great. Yep, you're dead. Alright, 
so that means we're all done. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some potato mud to cleanse the ladders. Mm, looks like this pumpkin's about to die. Better, better clean. Better make. Better get a fresh one. All right, dead. Please? Yes, thank you. Alright, so we're almost done for this one. Going into the third wave after shortly. Yep, third wave. Alright, so... Almost done. Good, it popped out. See ya! Well, I could save at least one. Alright, so that means we're good to go. Uh-oh. Please destroy it, thank you. Uh-oh, looks like it's not gonna last long. There we go. Whew. Either that's gonna pop up. Boom! There we go. They're done. Alright, so the next one is the Marigold, which is a pretty completely useless plant for defenses. It just gives you silver and gold. That's it. So next time... I don't know what to do with this plant. So, test it out, I'm guessing? Or maybe it's a distraction, I'm not sure. So we'll just test out with this. We'll see you in part three. See ya. Merry Christmas.